Max, Dave, what you got? Sir. Oh, God. Damn. Sheesh. Are you maxing already? I got you on this lightweight. Lightweight, you the champ. All the way up, all the way down. Uh, all the way up, all the way down, baby. Uh, Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Lightweight. Uh, What's wrong with you, bro? Lightweight. Uh, bro. Come on, man. Listen, here's the thing. Uh, I'm to get you like this because I, I got something to say to you. Come on, for There's what? Like one bridge. One bridge between me and being the face of this company. And that's you and that belt you got. So after March 19th, when you go home to your baby girl and explain to her that you failed her, uh, You got it! Black and I see you here, Dad! I need you, man. Where were we? What do you say? Welcome to another edition of the Blackout. Hello, everyone. I'm Roberto Moss. Flake to my partner, or flake to the right by my partner in crime, Thailand Ty. Just give the people an old fashioned hello. Hello and good evening, everybody. It is. What is that? And they're right now, they're saying he's an ooter. Oh, now, a shooter. I think he's saying he's a shooter, man. They did Just say shoot. That. Shooting right on Trey the Ruler right here, the opening contest at Blackout. Oh, we just saw a message from the wrestling lawyer telling us so Oliver Sawyer is has a contractual ability to be the uh, number one contender for the Southeastern Championship. That was an interesting take. Interesting take right there, but nevertheless, now we got so fly Manny Lowe. Trey the Ruler who's making his debut. It so fly, Manny Lowe is the sole resident of Chocolate City, baby. So fly, man is manager, Big Nick D. Gotta get it right, man. Gotta oh, get now, it Nick right. Nick D Gotta over here it. in the corner. What do you do? I will check you. Hey, you wanna get your man disqualified? Now Mike Koga all over Nicky D. Touching him, man. Mike Koga cares nothing about Chocolate City. And right now, Trader oh. Roller. Just put him on a poison rotter that took him to Chocolate City. And here we go. Manny with the kick, PK style, followed by a, just a coup de grace. And oh Manny Lowe crushing it right now. Just literally. Uh, I was literally just about to say the same thing. Oozing greatness. Oozing appeal, man. I can't say that. You can say that. Well, right now, that'll help the followers increase by anybody in this building because Manny just put him down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Nikki D telling us that women coming after So Fly, but So Fly fixing to fly high in the high rent district. Oh, he no. might be feeling. Oh, oh Rainmaker. Chocolate Cover Rainmaker. Hit. That's One, it. Two, three. Manny. Works quick. Making quick work of Trader Rolla here. Just a fantastic showing by SoFly. It's quite literally the future of Five Star Pro Wrestling. First time out for Trader Roller. Probably about the 50th time out for Ty and I. And we'll be right back to give you more right after this. Hello, Fire Star Pro Wrestling. Let me reintroduce myself to you. My name is The Wrestling Lawyer, and I once owned Firestar Pro Wrestling. Heck, I shut down Zone 1 Wrestling. And during my tenure there, I 
manage such people as the Cross brothers. Marcus Cross, no relation. And of course, AEW superstar Griff Garrison. Now, I fancy myself as a wrestling fan still, and I've uh, seen Griff Garrison on AEW, and I've also seen another rising star, another person that's caught my interest. His name is Oliver Sawyer. And my understanding is Mr. Sawyer has earned the number one contendership to go after Jay Malachi for the Southeastern Championship. I reached out to Mr. Sawyer and I said, hey, listen, you remind me of a young Griff Garrison. I could take you to that next level. I could get you the money. I could get you the fame. I could get you the championships you want. Mr. Sawyer got back to me. He said, listen, I have a little bit of a contractual problem with Firestar Wrestling, and that doesn't surprise me. So I asked him to send me over some paperwork, and as usual, Firestar, they don't know what they're doing. I looked over this paperwork here, and I found a lot of loopholes, a lot of BS. And basically, Firestar, you have no ground to stand on. Mr. Sawyer is the number one contender, but he will challenge for that title any time he pleases. You will not tell him when he will go after the title. He will choose when he's going to go after the title. And there is nothing you can do about it. Jay Malachi, you better have the eyes open in the back of your head. You better have your head on a swivel. Because I'm going to tell you what, my newest client, Oliver Sawyer, will end up like the rest of my clients champions, winners, superstars. So Oliver Sawyer, you have the right to choose when and where you want to go after the Southeastern Championship. It's up to you. You do not let Firestar Pro Wrestling management tell you what to do. And Jay Malachi, you have no say in this either. You might be the champion. That's all well and good. But whenever my client, Oliver Sawyer, wants that title, he's going to get that title. And maybe, just maybe, you will be graced with my presence, the wrestling lawyer's presence, and I will personally award my newest client, Oliver Sawyer, the Southeastern Championship. Your heart, Grant Watts, is always one of the greatest students that we've ever seen, per perhaps. It's been a changing of the guard here for, for the pure dragon, Oliver Sawyer. It used to be, fans used to love him. They used to be, they thought it'd be, I mean, he is going to be the future of, he's the now Firestar Pro Wrestling, but I think after Wrestle Revival, he, he kind of had a, a change of heart. Oh, oh, Jesus. And he starts out with a kick between the shoulder blades of Grant Watts after a snap mirror. And these two right here, some of the best technicians we have here, Ty. Pure heart, pure dragon. Just as I was vicious and looked at that, I think that only that angered Grant Watts. Pure heart, pure hey. dragon. It's like the 1980s. Basically it's just doing the pure. same thing. Yeah. Whoa, Grant Watts. He literally just did the same sequence to, to Oliver Sawyer that Oliver did to Grant and went for the same kick to the back. But Oliver knew it was coming. Look, look, pure heart. Uh, Pure Heart's already got a red mark across his back for oh, that kick. And now he's got a shot to his bread basket to show for that. A reverse Irish whip before he hits a drop kick that sends Oliver's teeth flying, I do believe. Oh my goodness. And oh, look Whoa, at this right here. Nice. Cover here. And Oliver almost lost really quickly. Grant Watts showing an awful lot of stuff here as he gets another oh, no. penny combination. He's making these appear oh. out of nowhere. A magician, it would seem. Oh my goodness. Grant Pure Houdini Watts. The crowd beside Grant Watts. Definitely behind him as Oliver Sawyer makes him better acquainted with the second turnbuckle. Oh. Before he hits a giant V-trigger to the back of Grant Watts' neck. I know he's just sinking to the floor, man. Oh my goodness. That's a cervical, cervical disc right there, driving that knee. He stomps further onto it. 
and Oliver with this mean streak, as you refer to, Ty, it is a changing of the guard. Oliver, as we've spoken about at length, as Grant tries to come back here, but Oliver into a headlock. Oliver sees people like Jay Malachi, who is the Southeastern Championship. Of course, Jay Malachi used to have a different way that he went about things. Oliver saw that. Oliver was also a part of a, of a monkey from Jay Malachi and Elias AK-47 the last time he had a chance at the, at the Southeastern Championship. Oh, yes, and I think that's exactly what kind of started it. And it oh. really just cost him that, that whole match. Over here, I'm sorry. That was the start, like you said, the start of the changing of the guard. Slowly but surely, they started to, to get a little bit more vicious, a little bit more careless. And it all culminated with his match against, his first match against Elliot Shock. They came to blows and then Oliver Sawyer just out of nowhere just taking out Elliot Shock with a vicious, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, a kick right to the jaw using the ropes to assist him. But as I was saying, he just viciously put Elliot Shock's head into the ring. Oh. Oliver here, looking to win here. Shoulders down, Grant Watts. Into the side of the ring here and put Elliot Shock out for about six weeks with a concussion. Grant Watts here, trying to do everything he can to come back here against Oliver Sawyer as he unleashes a chop, followed by a forearm, and then another one before Oliver Sawyer almost wrecks his face. Oh, look at him up, he's got an Argentine clutch. Oh, step up in Seguri by Grant Watts. And he's looking to capitalize here. Oliver meets him with the foot. And Grant Watts with a power slam. Son of Randy Orton does it again. And now the crowd again, once again, getting behind Grant Watts with the pure heart chance, the heart and soul of Firestar Pro Wrestling. Oliver's trying to feel, make some Philly come back. He needs to come, but he's coming. Oh, back elbow for his troubles. And Grant Watts misses it. Now Grant Watts with a shoulder check, followed by another. Into the ropes, duck under here. Duck, duck, goose, baby! Ho -ho! Flying forearm delivered right to Oliver Sawyer's jaw. Center of the ring, he sits. Oh, he's got a... What's he going... Oh, okay, he's going up top. You don't very often see Grant Watts climb to the top row. Not at all. That just shows you the caliber of... Oh! Grant Watts lands wow. right on his feet. And before he oh. runs off a springboard, cross body, shoulders down. And Oliver Sawyer kicks out 2.5, says Daylon Kingsley, who is our official for this match. <laughs> this has been a fantastic show so far here at Mars no Blackout. This is like the, 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 the third time that Oliver Sawyer and Grant Watts have been. Each time the match gets better and better, more vicious. They get to know each other more and more. They know their ins and outs. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Speaking Waste of ins and out. Waste lock applied, trying to get out of it by any means, Oliver Sawyer is. Grant Watts is probably going for look, Ma, no hands. Oliver saw it coming. Oh, no. He's got him in that clutch, that Argentine clutch. Woo! Now almost dumped him outside the ring unceremoniously. Yeah. And here comes Oliver. Trigger Full time! Speed. Ooh. And he ran right into a right foot by Grant Watts. That almost made him go night-night, Ty. Whoa! Oh, wow! What was that? That was nice! Slingshot! Zenton! Cover yes. here! Two! And Oliver has the ropes. Presence of mind to grab the ropes. That's right there. That's quick thinking. Daylon Kingsley right on it. He saw it immediately. And Oliver rolling out. Short sabbatical may be needed. These guys just look just hear the grunts and moans and these guys just beating the absolute crap out of each other. Kicks to the back, these vicious body slams. Speaking of slams. Oliver. Grant oh. trying to bring him back in. And now Oliver trying to whoa, take whoa. him out. Not, a, oh, not no. a good idea. Oh, now brings him to the outside. Oh, and here they are. Precarious position on the outside. This is no man's land time. 
Only bad things happen here on the outside of the ring apron. Just strike for strike. Each strike putting the, these gentlemen in a more pernicious position. Grant Watts, oh, oh going home. Oh. Oliver just dropped him right on the apron. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is the hardest part of the ring. That is where everything is held up. That's where the wood ends, the steel, the steel starts. Oliver going up top. Quote the Terror Squad, nothing can stop him. He's all the way up. Oh, and all the way Cover down. here to the winning. Oh, oh, Grant Watts, oh. 2.85. He I, kicked out. I thought that was it. Grant Watts' eyes are as crossed up as someone that just met Allen Iverson on a basketball court. But he kicked out at 2.99. That was so close. Everybody thought that was it, including me. I gotta give Brad Watts his credit right there. Just that last second kick. Oh my goodness. Here's these kicks. These glancing blows to the side of the head. We've seen Oliver use these kicks against Elliot Shock. Yeah, well, oh my. We're gonna that be, one, square. We're gonna have Chris Nowinski tweeting at us here tonight. Square on the jaw. Jesus. And another one, another. S CTE coming up, baby. And now Grant Watts. Oh my goodness. That's just. Oh, Lincoln wow. so mad. And now Oliver looking for a Snapdragon suplex. Grant Watts reversed it, and now he has a waist lock. Oliver, ditto. Full Nelson, more like. Exchange after exchange. Who's going to come out on top? Whoa, 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 and now, whoa, whoa. Uh, Grant here. Oh, no. Oh, oh whoa. Kazadora to a suplex here. Oh, my goodness. Strength of the pure heart. And that was amazing. The crowd coming alive, a fire star. He needs to capitalize. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, now whoa. Daylon Kingsley almost getting caught up in what's going on here. And oh, oh, my Lord. Oh, what he was that? just waylaid his back with that oh, contract. Oliver Sawyer hoisted up. Tower Hacker. Cover here, shoulders down, to damn you, Oliver. Of course, Oliver Sawyer had to resort to cheating because he couldn't handle the counters of what seemed like a very, very game Grant Pure Heart Watts time. He put a bend in that, uh, that briefcase. He smacked him so hard in the back with it. Oh my goodness. And never, always coming out, always coming out with something. An amazing match until someone felt the need to cheat. But we won't cheat you. We have great wrestling, and it's coming up for you next. Of course, Mike Gogo. Big Mike Gogo, the official for this match. And here we go. Oh, wow! And Tevin just sent him on a spiral. The ring just moved. He moved the ring when he came through. European uppercuts. I'm about to lose my voice before we start. He tucked him. Oh! Belly to belly suplex nearly gated him out of the ring. That's 20 feet from corner to corner. He chucked him all the way to the other side. Jackson Drake might be rethinking this match. Oh! As he just took a splash that was more like a tsunami. Oh! Chop across the chest. Shout out Vince from Shamwell with chopping in here. Jackson, no one was there when the backflip happened. Oh no. Oh no. Grizzly oh. Magnums across the chest. Oh, the thunk. Sounded Jeez like Louise. he blew a subwoofer. And Jackson using a little bit of the speed here, trying, trying to get something going on Tevin. Oh, whoa, whoa. As he comes here, there's a cover, shoulders down. And Tevin kicks out of that. Jackson using a technical move to really wow. pull that cover out of nowhere. That was that was pretty brilliant. They're getting the big man off his feet in such a way. Oh, oh, you better watch it. And now trying to get the big man to go over, but he's not having it. And now he's stepping right on Jackson Drake. 
Woo! Before he's knocked out of the ring unceremoniously. Jackson, that was nice. He was stepping on him, and I think Jackson Drake just kind of sweeped his leg out from underneath him, and the momentum caused him to fall to the outside of the ring there. Jackson Drake. Jackson Drake, I think, is bleeding in the mouth right now, but that's nothing new. Like you said, he eats thumbtacks for breakfast. Whoa! He's gonna... Oh, wow! Jackson just took off Tope Suicina in very small amount of space right into Tevin Dangerous Turner. And now Tevin and Jackson go oh my goodness. outside. Whoa, 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 look. Oh, wow. Jesus! A chop that echoed across this arena. TDT in hot pursuit. Jackson Drake doing anything. Trying oh to get out as hey, TDT hey, hey. asphyxiates him on the ground with this his right This is a fight foot. now. And TDT resets the count. Oh! oh! Some teeth flying, baby! Super model kick! And another Jesus! One. And he's you kicking! These. You he's, can hear the thuds on these! He's kicking the crap out of that bad leg! Oh! And Jackson! Oh my goodness! Stop on the back while TDT's on that metal staircase. And Jackson Drake. Finding his rhythm all of a sudden. Oh! Forearm. And now TDT. Look out! And oh my god! Almost went through the steel. That man is dead! 300 pounds of force just slung another human being almost through metal. Steel, Ty. Steel. It, this man, I tell you, it, that, that, that altercation at the gym, sir. Oh, oh my goodness. Jackson quick with it, and he's got to move. Serve he's the realizing gym. it. Yes, they serve to just set each other off, and now these guys just beating the crap out of each other. Oh. Jackson Drake, like I said, bleeding at the mouth. He doesn't care. No man makes me bleed my own blood. Cover here, Jackson trying to win a championship. Good God, running sent on by Jackson Drake. And as I've said before, much like the singer Drake, he's having his way. He's on the up, man's on the up and up against our heavyweight champion. Mike Goga administering a five count, which has to be respected. Come on, see? And he's grounded. Tevin Dangerous Turner. Ty, he has grounded him. But he's taunted him right now. This is not something you want to do. You do not want to taunt here. the big man like that. Big man finds himself in the front headlock before he launches a couple shots at Jackson Drake's breadbasket. And then he sends him upstairs where Mama keeps the cookies with a souffle, nearly taking him and putting him through that ring time. Oh my goodness gracious. Cover here to win back his championship. Mike Goga says two. Constantly established. We trust him to count to ten. Three if your shoulders are down. Hey, hey, hey! He's breaking the eyes of Tevin Dangerous oh! Turner. And a running senton to a Neil Tevin Dangerous Turner. Jackson Drake cover Tevin Dangerous Turner. Kicks out. 2.25 says Mike Goga. I haven't seen Tevin on his feet in a while. Nah, man, this man has been on the, he's on, he's on the run, so to speak, against, oh. Front kicks right oh to the chest. And now TDT caught oh. that one. And now he stood up. Oh, no. Oh, he went for that choke and slam. And now Jackson jumps the back, full back control with a sleeper hole. Trying to make sure Tevin fades. Trying to put him back on the ground that he got up from. The plan seems clear, Ty. The plan is clear to put him to sleep. Oh! oh. Now, TDT, I'm not sure if he did that because he was fading and almost falling or on purpose. Jackson moves out of the way. Oh. And he just hit a V-trigger and that was on purpose. Oh, no. Yo. These men are down. Nearly put him through the ring. Pasted him. 
to this campus. And looking over here, we got a shot at ringside. That's so fly, Manny Lowe and his manager, Nick D. Sin, watching the action of the main event of Blackout. Manny Lowe and Nick D. Very interested in what happens with our Firestar Professional Heavyweight Championship, as is everyone in this company. Mike Goga administering a count, and he's up to Cinco. Five if you know how to spend yours. Right, who's going to be first? Get off the hand. Let him go. Oh! Forearm, and then a shot right there for Jeez. DDT bobbing and weaving. Jackson Drake eating them all. Oh! European uppercut cutting an angle before he just hit him with a flying forearm. Cover here, shoulders down. Jackson might lose. Oh my goodness. Kicks out here. Jackson Drake wants more punishment, Ty. These gentlemen both a want much punishment. Yes, Jackson Drake is a gluttonous man. He gluttons for punishment, man. That's his, that's his thing. He loves to be hurt. It gives him power. The more he hurts, the more power he, powerful he becomes. Jackson in bad, bad position right here. Very pernicious position as TDT oh. looking for a gate city slam. And Jackson jumps out of it. Oh, wow. An elbow that hits him right on his ear. Messing with the equilibrium. Shot him. Oh, no. oh God. And now a chest oh. slam. Nearly putting him through the ring, planting him like a petunia cover here to win it back. Then Jackson kicks out 2.99. So close. Jackson Drake. Kevin Dangerous Turner, that dangerous, just too dangerous of a man catching Jackson Drake straight out the sky. That's a vicious choke slam if I ever saw one, man. That choke that slam had about seven feet of height on it, and Jackson Drake came down every single inch. That would have put me out. I wouldn't have got up from that at all. I wouldn't have wanted to get up from that. But I'm not Jack. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is he? Hey. Oh, no. Hey. And Jackson Drake. Step up in Seguri after it finds out that he loves finger food. And now a sleeper hold applied. And he's putting all the, look at, he's leaning on it too. He's got all 200 pounds of his body frame on Tevin Turner. Whoa, no, oh, no. Whoa. TDT going up top. Jackson, you might want to let go. You really might want to let go, buddy. Oh, he's going to go for the... Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! And no! Oh! Jackson Drake with a powerbomb cover here looking to become new champion. And no! Oh! Jackson Drake nearly sniffing, smelling the belt. We almost had a new champion here in those flash kicks. And he's quick to work. He knows that he was right there, Ty. He knows he's right. He got Tevin oh, 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 oh. on his heels. Now Jackson. Oh, oh my God. Where does that go? Cover here. Two, three. That's it. Jackson Drake lost his head. He sent it. He got his head sent to the third row with a lethal dose of TDT tetrodotoxin. Vicious. An absolutely hellacious clothesline. A clothesline from hell and brought the bats with it. That was amazing. And that by the way, directly in front of Nikki D and SoFly Manny Lowe. Yes, I got to see kind of what they're thinking of what they just saw with Jackson Drake and front row our seats. Firestar Heavyweight Champion, Tevin Turner. They enjoyed front row seats to that. TDT saying he still loves them. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, and now here's... Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on here. Hold on here. Oh, no. No. no what the hell? What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Why would you do so that? So fly. That was ridiculous. Come up on low blow out of nowhere. And now Manny up top. 
Up top, coming down! Chocolate Brainmaker! On to the champion! The message has been sent! As always, it's been another great edition of the Blackout. As always, thank you to two guys in a welder. FSPW Trading, if you'd like to be a part of this. Firestar Pro Wrestling, if you'd like to watch it. On behalf of Thailand, I'm Roberto Moss, and until next time, lights out, and away we go.